These are the things that you would place on your body. Accessorize. So if you see a fight happening, pay for it and then leave. All right? Okay. Hey everyone. So welcome to the Ewa app channel. And here you're going to find everything that you need to help you to learn English. So of course, today, 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 we are going to be talking about some phrasal verbs with the word on. So of course, if this sounds like it's helpful, useful, and you want to hear it, then you definitely want to stick around and not miss out. All right, now also, since you're here guys, just take a quick second, remember to subscribe to our channel just so that you could keep and stay updated with everything that we have coming for you. All right, so let's see. Let's get started to catch on. So you usually catch on something, right? So what this means is that you now know or you're aware or you would have just started to learn something new, right? For example, I could say, oh, for someone who just learned how to fish last week, you're catching on pretty well. We, all that means is that, oh, you're new to this, but you're doing a good job so far. Good? So maybe you guys could put in the comment section below and let me know something that you are catching on well with. So the next one, guys, is to decide on. So to decide on something usually just means that you make a choice or you choose to do something after thinking really long and hard about it. For example, I could say, I'm trying to decide on the perfect day to do my IG live training. Good? So the next one, guys, is to try on. Now what this is, it's just to put on like garments or clothes on your body or even jewelry, right? These are the things that you would place on your body. But guess what? You only place it on your body to see how it looks. That's why you say try on because you just want to see how it looks. If you don't like it, you take it off. If you like it, you keep it on, right? But if you're in a store, you're going to try it on, take it off, pay for it, and then leave. All right, so that is to try on. And then of course, if I just gave you try on, we have to talk about put on, right? So to put on now means to place this garment on your body and you're good to go, guys, right? No questions, that's what you're wearing. You put it on and you're out, good? But there are other ways to say put on for example, I could say slip on, slip into, or throw on. Now the reason why I gave all those was so that you could see the difference. Because when I throw on or slip on or slip into something, it really means that I do it, you know, like in a quicker, at a quicker speed, so to speak. Yeah, I do it a little quickly just to kind of, I need to just throw on something and go to the supermarket. So normally it's not something that takes a lot of time, a lot of effort. No, you just throw it on, go wherever, come back. So when you say you throw on something, it's usually to do something casual or something similar, um, simple, all right? So for example, I could say, oh, I just threw on these earrings to accessorize, <laughs> right? Just for example, and I hope that helps. So this one is to cut back on, right? So to cut, and you could also say cut down on, means the same thing. So cut back on or cut down on. All this would do is to lower or to bring down or to reduce something, right? Usually that you do. So most times you will hear people say, oh, I'm going to cut back on carbs for the new year. 
or I'm going to cut down on my sugar intake or I'm going to cut back on my screen time right that's how often I use my phone so I'm going to use it less right so that's what it means to cut back on or cut down on the next one guys is to look on so to look on means that you might watch you might look you might pay attention to something you're just like a spectator you're looking at what's going on but you don't get involved so that's how you use look on for example I could say John did not participate in the lesson today he just looked on the entire time good could you hold on for a second that's the next one guys to hold on and no I don't mean hold on for dear life no what hold on means it means to just pause or stop or just wait for a bit good so you could say oh sorry could you hold on for a second I'm gonna take this right so you just say hold on which means hold on now the next well the next two I'm going to give you kind of mean the same thing which is to go on or to carry on right what those two really mean it really just means to continue something to keep going to keep going to continue right for example I could say oh this lecture has been going on for hours right that means it's been going and going so it's continuing right all right so the next one guys a big one is to build on now to build on something again something means to grow it to improve to make it better and it keeps getting better and better so guess what here's a perfect example if you keep using the EWA app I can guarantee you that you will definitely be building on your English skills right so that means your skills will be getting better and better and improving and growing and say it with me right so you will get better so that's to build on something now the next one guys is to catch up on something right sometimes there are things that you would love to do but maybe you have work you don't have the time maybe last week you you know you usually read books and watch movies but last week you had so much work to do so you missed out on your favorite shows then guess what you could catch up on them this week good so for example I could say oh I really need to catch up on some reading which really means that I need to read something I haven't read anything maybe like a week or two a month usually when you catch up on something it's something that you haven't done within like a short period of time maybe like within a month or two but when you catch up it's not like something from years years ago because that's a bit different all right so you catch up on something now the next one guys is to get on now you heard me use get on when you're talking about continuing something guess what you could use it in other ways too right you could get on the bus right so you use get on also when you're looking at transportation and get it boarding boarding transportation so going on to step onto that bus that is to get on good all right guys and guess what in our next video I really wanted to give some suggestions on like movies and series that you could watch to help you to improve your English all right but then also I would love it I would love it guys if you could just put in the comment section below what you would love to see more of so that we can provide what you need all right so again guys thanks for listening don't and watching and don't forget to subscribe below all right okay